Hello, I'm Mackenzie from the Sewing Palace in Helena, Montana. Congratulations on your brand new Bernina. We are excited for you and excited to offer you some education on your new machine. Whether you are a new owner or have been a Bernina fan for a while. Since the Bernina machines are computerized now, there are some things that you should pay attention to. So let's get started. Right in front of me here, I have the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition. I have just pulled it out of the box. I have the slide-on table inserted and on the machine, as well as I've picked some thread. On switch on the right-hand side. And right when I turn it on, it does take a few seconds. Just think of it as a computer, because these com machines have a computer mechanism in them. So it will take a few seconds, and right when it gets close to being done, listen closely. You hear that? That is kind of the Bernina burp, is what we call it. I have it threaded up and I'm ready to sew. So listen closely. So right when I start, I hit the pedal and it makes the noise and then it does a knot. So it kind of go, it goes forward, backward, and forward again, and it creates a knot. So that where it first started, there's a it's a secure function. Now that function can be turned on or off in the settings of the machine. And you can either hit the presser foot, you can either hit the foot control, your gas pedal to run the machine or you can hit the green start stop button on the front of the machine. So this is the foot pedal and it starts and stops whenever you engage it. And to start it with the button, you press and hold it and it will sew. And when you press and hold it, you press it again to turn it off. And then you can hit the scissors button and it will cut the thread and you can examine how you did and what it looks like. It's a great stitch. These are the Bernina presser feet. All of the new current Bernina model machines take the same presser feet. So this is a 1C presser foot. It is the standard zigzag presser foot that comes on the machine. And on every single presser foot, there is this little screw. This little screw sometimes can vibrate off out of the presser foot and land where you are sewing. What it is designed for is this little feature here. It is called the seam right guide. And that piece goes into the back of the presser foot. So you can get even and consistent widths of seams from the right of the presser foot. Why it is called the seam right guide, because it can only go on the right side of the presser foot. And notice as I'm putting on the presser foot with one hand, so there is no screw needed to put on and off the presser foot, which is very nice. Another little sound that you should be aware of is this little humming noise. This humming noise is the bobbin winder. To make that stop, you just hit this little engaging guy backward forward for on and out for off. 
Thank you for joining me on these few new features of the Bernina machines. Have a wonderful time and thank you and do something creative every day. The Sewing Palace.